In this video we will be looking at a 1.5 horsepower Black & Decker variable speed pool pump running at 900 rpm, 1500 rpm, and 3000 rpm. The system is set up with a single inch and a half suction line, a single inch and a half return line, and a 150 square foot cartridge filter. The total dynamic head is equal to approximately 35 feet on the system. So as you can see we already have 900 rpm. Let's go ahead and look at the flow rates here. Just over 20 gallons per minute, or just about bang on 20 gallons per minute, let's say. Power consumption, top right corner, 55 watts, just over 55 watts, 0.36 amps current draw. Fifteen hundred RPM. Thirty four gallons per minute. I was going to wait to see if it went to thirty four and a half, but I'm going to call that thirty four. Hundred and sixty seven and a half watts power consumption, point seven six amps current draw. And now 3,000 RPM. Take a look at the filter pressure. It's over 10 PSI. I guess I'd call that 10 and a half PSI. Let's look at the flow rate here. Just over 70 gallons per minute. one point zero six kilowatts or one thousand sixty watts four point five amps current draw we're going to be programming a black and decker variable speed pump we're going to be programming 12 hours of runtime at 900 rpm eight hours of runtime at 1500 rpm and four hours of runtime at 3000 rpm now we have four speed selection slots to work with here, so instead of having 12 hours at 900 RPM, we're going to break that up into two different six hour time slots at 900 RPM. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to press speed one, and speed will start flashing. That indicates that we can change the speed selection that we're going for. So let's go ahead and dial this down to 900 RPM. We press speed one again, and now it's going to go to time. And it's asking us what time of day do we want this program to start? I'm going to start this at six o'clock AM. There we go. Six o'clock AM. Press speed one again. Now it's asking for the duration. What is the duration of this schedule that's going to start at six o'clock AM? As I mentioned, we're going to go with two, two six hour increments running at 900 RPM. So we'll just go ahead and set this for six hours. There we go. So we've now effectively set the first part of our schedule. Let's change to speed two and speed is flashing. So that's great. Let's change that. And we're going to change it down to 1500 RPM. We are going to run an eight hour schedule at 1500 RPM. This is the duration now that we're setting. Was five hours, six hours, seven hours, and there we go, eight hours. So that's now eight hours at 1500 RPM. And then what I want to do is I want to go back and do that other six hour increment at 900 RPM. Press it again, now it's asking me for the duration. I want to set six hours as the duration. There we go, and that's it. Now we've effectively programmed speed three, and now that means all we need to do is program in the final speed, which for this schedule is going to be 3000 RPM. There we go. 
and it's asking us for the duration of time. We want to go with four hours. In fact, four hours is the maximum because this is based on a 24 hour schedule. So four hours brings us to 24 hours. And that's why that's the maximum that we can do there. So press speed again. And as you can see, we've now programmed all of these. We are in uh, schedule already. So as we program that, that's real time. Those are already done. All we need to do now, press the start button and that's it. We initiate the 24-hour the schedule that we just programmed. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.